the essence of Sufism. Sufism is not confined by any dogma, doctrine, creed or church. Christ is a Sufi, so is Muhammad. Krishna is a Sufi, so is Buddha. In fact, all the masters and incarnations are Sufi. No more philosophy. This is the first thing I would like you to remember. Sufism is the innermost core of all religions. Zen, Hasidism, etc. are just names of the same happening. These are only different names of the same ultimate relationship with God. The relationship is dangerous. Sufism means you are no more interested in dogmas. Instead, it is a love affair between you and unknown and unknowable. It is dangerous because the closer you come to God, the more and more you evaporate, you dissolve, you disappear. And when you have come really close, you are no more. This is really dangerous because it is in a way suicidal. But the suicide is beautiful. To die in God is the only way to live really. You die as you are, only then you are reborn. When a drop dies, disappears into the vastness of the ocean. In a way it is dead for the drop. The drop is no more the same. Its name, form, everything changes. But then something else happens to it. It becomes cosmic. It becomes oceanic. Ocean lends its magnanimity, taste, name and form to it. To die in God is the only way to live really. You die as you are until you die. Until you die voluntarily into love, you continue to live a mere superficial existence. You live simply as mediocre, you vegetate, you do not have any meaning. No poetry arises in your heart, no dance, no celebration and no song. You continue to grow in darkness, you stumble in utter dark caves. You live at the lowest ebb. There is no overflow of bliss or ecstasy or surut. That overflow happens only when you are not. Your very presence is the hindrance because that presence is nothing but ego. Sufism is the art of removing the hindrance between you and you, between the self and self between part and whole. Sufism is the methodology to dissolve the vanity of ego. A few things about the word Sufi. An ancient Persian dictionary gives the definition of the word in a very unique way. It goes in rhythm. Sufi chist, Sufi, Sufist. Who is a Sufi? The dictionary answers a Sufi is a Sufi. What a strange but a beautiful way to define the Sufi and the poem. The phenomena that we call Sufi is indefinable. A Sufi is a Sufi. It says nothing and yet it says everything. It says that Sufi cannot be defined because he does not follow the set norms. He does not follow all that you have known. His ways and means are spontaneous. There is no other way to define the entire phenomenon. There is no other synonym. Also, there is no possibility to define it linguistically. There is no other indefinable phenomenon. You can live it. You can know it. You can be it. However, through the mind or the intellect, it is not possible to define it. You can be a Sufi and that is the only way to know what Sufism is. You can taste the reality yourself, it is available. You need not go into dictionary, you can go into existence. If you are not ready to have a bite of Sufism, you can at least taste it. And that is what I am going to make available to you, a little taste. And once you have tasted even a drop of the nectar called Sufism, 
you will become thirstier for more and this thirst will go on getting deeper and deeper for the first time you will realize for the first time you will start feeling a great appetite for godliness in you these talks cannot explain to you what is sufism because these are not talks of a philosopher i am not a theologian either i am not really talking on sufism i will be talking sufism not these are not talks on sufism i am here to give you a taste of sufism if you are really ready ready to go into this adventure and then you will attain the very taste of it it is something that will start happening in your heart it is something like a bud open you will start feeling a certain sensation in the heart it is as if something is becoming alert awake and alive there it is as if the heart has been asleep for long and now it is the first glimpse of the morning and thus you will have the taste of the dawn of sufism sufism is a special kind of magic a rare kind of magic it can be transferred only from a master to the disciple not from a book it is ilm sina il means if i have to put it in the word it is knowledge but it is better to say it is awareness sina means heart it is heart to heart communion or the awareness of the heart opening of the petals of the heart it cannot be transferred by scriptures no way can this be communicated through the mind it is also just like zen a transmission without words transmission beyond words it is a wordless communion nothing is spoken yet still everything is heard the sufis have a special word for it and they call it silsila or tariqat what hindus call parampara sufis call as silsila silsila means a transfer from one heart to another from one person to another it is a very very personal way of transmission sufism is the transmission beyond communion it is like that happens from a lit candle to the unlit candle nothing is visible yet is still something happens when there is a lit candle you bring an unlit candle to the lit one slowly and slowly you bring it closer to the flame a little closer a little more then all of a sudden in a mystical way something jumps from the lit candle and the unlit one gets lit at what time what point in time does this happen this is mystical all of a sudden something jumps from the lit candle no vision can capture it no word can capture it and the closer the unlit candle comes to the lit one something jumps and light the unlit one this is transmission without lamp a communion without word nay you cannot call this as communication because it is not communication instead it is communion the disciple remains within the energy field of the master beyond time and space in a state of continuum this he does through trust love for the master and introspection on the words of the master thus he goes beyond time and space this is sufi way nobody is doing anything yet still the rare magic is happening the transformation from baser to the subtle you cannot have it without being related to an enlightened master there is no other way you can read all this literature that exists on sufism and you will be lost in the desert of words 
unless you find a guide unless you fall in love with a guide you will not have the taste of the miraculous i am ready to take you on this inner journey this can happen only if you are courageous and adventurous only courageous people get attracted towards the real the real is not for cowards and for you so called religious people remember this place is not for so called god fearing people either in fact this place is for god loving people love knows no fear love is the disappearance of fear just like when light is darkness can no more be and such a person has a totally different quality a god fearing person can never move into the deeper realms of religion certainly he cannot move to the inner realm because of his fear you start feeling a certain sensation in the heart and this sensation is such that if something is becoming alert or weak there as if the heart has been asleep for a long and now it is the first glimpse of the morning and it is in such wakefulness you will have the taste of the miraculous know this the sufi way sufi way can happen once you are open to love and its deeper realms then it matters not what is your outer god i invite you for such an experience this place is for those who my call god loving person and they have a totally different quality a god fearing person never moves into the deeper realms of religion cannot because of his fear people who come to me are god loving when i say god loving i mean they are in search they want to know they want to be they want to attain to inner oneness they want to explore their blissfulness they want to know authentically they do not want to have borrowed knowledge about it they want to have a taste they want to encounter they want to face god they want to look into his eyes before you can become capable of looking into the eyes of god you will have to become capable of looking into the eyes of a master from there you take off the journey begins master is the one who looks like you he talks and walks like you yet is still there is something of the beyond he is soaked in god he is overflowing the blissfulness and in that state whatever he says transforms you it is the miracle of the unknown beyond time and space a continuity i am making myself available to you sufism is just an excuse i will not be talking about sufism i will be talking sufism it's the word sufism is also beautiful it has many orientations and all are beautiful and i would not like to emphasize any one specific orientation a few people choose one orientation while others choose another however my understanding is that all those orientations are beautiful and have something special to say i accept them all each orientation speaks of the inner state of the one who is expressing this one old naqshbandi master Hazrat Abul Hasan Khalqani radiyallahu ta'ala anhu has said Sufism was once a reality without a name now Sufism is a name without reality